All right, guys, so we are about to start the DTP shoulder press for this eight-week muscle building video trainer with Neil Yoda Hill. So Neil has got uh, some clients here. William Bonac is gonna be competing tomorrow. And uh, the last time I trained shoulders in here with Neil, I threw up for the very first time. I've never thrown up on shoulders before. I don't know if that's gonna to happen today. We're gonna to be doing DTP. The funny thing is, is that we both have shoulder injuries. I got a couple of torn uh, rotator cuffs. What injury do you have with your shoulder, oh, I've Neil? I've got a supraspinatus issue and there's a lot of trauma taking place in my shoulder. I've got a lot, a lot of calcification buildup over obviously years of, not necessarily neglecting it, but the thing is, is that sometimes it's easy to stay away from your own commitment on the things that you need to do and you prioritize other people. So we're gonna work around our injuries. We're gonna have a great workout, guys, and hopefully you guys and yours are gonna learn something new back at home. Okay, so high reps and a lot of intensity. <laughs> right, drive, get him up, come on, push. Good, care. good, Neil, easy, good. Getting a good pump in there, buddy. Nice, Neil, easy. So we started off with 30 repetitions, now we're increasing the weight, so we're going to 30 repetitions. We'll continue to increase the weight, 25, 20, 15, and then we'll work our way back down on a different exercise. Yes. Good man. Come on, Chris. Let's go. Come on. Two. I want. Come on, let's go. Good set. Good set. Ah. Fuck. Whoo. Right, keep the camera going. Okay, guys. So we've just come into our third working set and directly 25 repetitions. There's going to be times where you're able to maybe go beyond that rep range or actually not hit the rep range you're targeting. Don't worry about that. Don't look at it as a negative thing. Get yourself motivated, take your adequate rest, put your energy into the next working set, but more importantly, break down the reps one by one. Don't look at focal point thinking I've got to hit 20 reps. Think about the first five, the next five. Every rep that you do gathers accountability and it all co gathers motivation for you to put into the next working rep and set, okay? Good, there. Come on, two, three reps. Come on, Chris. Right, right, right. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Come on, let's go. Come on, Neil. Nice. Now you get fucking started. Easy. Good. Come on. Hey. That's it, get that fucking pump in there now, bud. Come on, Neil. Easy. Good, Neil. Come on. Let's fucking go. Come on. That's a fucking go. Yeah. Come on, Neil. Let's go. Finish it off. That's it. And again. Let's go. Good. Oh, that's fucking intensity, buddy. Uh. 
Ah, fucking hell. Woo. Damn. Oh, this is so much fun. I wish you could join me. Oh, you are, you are. Come on, it's your set. Ah, fuck. Woo. That is it. We are done. That's it. It's a wrap between us and that shoulder workout and abs, finishing off with some lower abs. What we're going to do now is uh, go downstairs and try to get out of all this noise here so we can give that a bit of a wrap up for today and go over today's workout and uh, have a recaged, get some cardio in, circulate the nutrition around the body, help us recover because we've got an entire weekend to be active with our recovery. All right, guys, that is the wrap up of today's shoulder workout. So let's go through uh, the exercises that we did. So we started off obviously warming up on seated hammer press, guys. We do about three or four warm up sets. And obviously, because the rep range with DTP, we start off with 35 reps. The need to indirectly warm up is obviously lesser because you're actually going to be pre fatiguing and warming up that muscle group or those different areas of the deltoid as you go through that 35 reps. So that was the first exercise we went on to, and then I'll be on to our second exercise, which was actually stand inside lateral dumbbell raise. Yeah, and the rep range, so we went 35, then rested, then went 30, 25, 20, and then 15. Then we went on the side raises, but this time we had to mirror image that replication of reps going back down now. So we started with 15, then rested, then went 20, just enough time for Neil to go or myself to go, and then 25 and then 30, finishing at 35 on the side raises. Yeah, and one thing you'll obviously notice as you go through the different rep ranges, you're gonna see no, notice that even though your rep ranges go up or down, depending whether you're doing 35 reps or 15 reps, you're also impacting your rest between working sets because obviously if you're only doing 15 repetitions and Chris is going straight into the, into the exercise after me, he's obviously got a limited time factor to rest and recover his ATP system to sort of get back into the zone for him to hit obviously the next working set. And with that in mind, sometimes you'll find that you're not gonna be able to increase the weight because fatigue is set in after you've done, let's say that 15 repetitions and now you've got to go and do 20 and you've only rested a short amount of period of time. It's like, there's no way that you can increase that weight or decrease that or increase that weight sometimes. So, you know, don't always look at that you have to increase. You just need to reach failure within that repetition guide range. And also guys, we bear in mind whether you're doing DTP or a different training style, you may have a target rep range that you're aiming for, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're actually going to hit it. You may be able to go over it, or you may be able to go below it, but you just need to make sure that you're forming a technique, you apply it to the area, and work within your, 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 uh, your local parameters as far as your biomechanics, and keep that stress and load exactly where you want to apply it on the muscle group that you're actually training. So once we're done with the side uh, raises to hit the lateral head, the anterior head of the deltoids, we went, uh, the lateral head, we went and worked the anterior head, the front head of the shoulders. So we started doing front raises there with a bilateral form. Uh, so we weren't doing one arm at a time, was using both arms at the same time there. And this time we were starting off again at 35 repetitions. So at a lighter weight and we were working our way back down to 15. And you'll notice with Chris and myself, our form, our technique changed very slightly. We both obviously have injuries, so we need to make sure that we're applying the exercise which actually doesn't irritate and create more stress and load or trauma to the area. Obviously, I've got a supraspinatus issue, uh, Chris has got a rotor cuff issue, so obviously my range of motion or the way that I was applying the exercise may be slightly lesser or different, but at the same time, we're still keeping constant tension on the muscle group and the area and the surrounding area that we're trying to apply it at all times. And once we're done with the front, we went to the opposing muscle, the rear delt, to finish off. And as you're noticing, we're going not you know, crazy heavy, but we're still reaching failure. We're still targeting our type 1, our type 2A, our type 2B muscle fibers. And we are actually you know, working on a survival mechanism here. 
when you cannot do any more repetitions, even at a high rep, you're still incorporating every single muscle fiber just as a survival mechanism just to get through that rep range. Yeah, so you're always going to get a crossover at some point, and it doesn't make any difference if it's low reps or high reps. Your body's obviously going to grasp onto anything it can, whether it's ATP, uh, ATP whether, it's, whether it's glucose, whether it's actually oxygen, for instance, or the type of muscle fiber you're primarily focused on, it is going to get pre-exhausted. So you are going to hit a different muscle fiber. The great thing about DTP, the way that we performed it today, it allowed us to focus on exactly the areas that we wanted to. So we were working up or we were working down, then we were going on to a different exercise. So it was great because what we were able to do, we were able to target a different threshold of muscle fibers when we went on to the next exercise. And after we did rear delts, that was it for shoulders, completely kaput. I'd say, what was that, about 45 minutes? Yeah, I'd say the maximum. Yeah, it's probably less than that, guys, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very short, just like your love making, really, Neil? Yeah, but you know what? It might be a short session, guys, but a little bit long time. She's a happy girl. <laughs> Quality over quantity, that's his justification. So um, once we're done with that, just hit lower abs. And this wasn't DTP, this was just five straight sets of leg raises. And that, you know, when you're doing that, you just gotta exhale all your air out of your diaphragm so you can get a good contraction. Don't even think about using your hip flexors. You're bringing your pelvis up towards your sternum. You're closing that distance and then lengthening that distance. And that was it for today. Now we're gonna get in our re-caged and go for a little bit of cardio, just a bit of a slow walk, just to get those nutrients around the body and use this weekend as active recovery before next week's annihilation. Cool. Thank you very much for joining me today, brother. You're welcome. Really man. appreciate it. Okay, guys, this is a wrap. This is the first time myself and Chris have trained probably for a good two years or so. So it's been great for us to be able to get back in the gym together, throw some iron around, see each other. And I'm really looking forward to building a really good, strong foundation and, and creating some great things in the industry with Craig Cage Muscle. They've already set the precedence and the standard within the industry. We're gonna bring it even further to you guys and girls at home to make sure you maximize your gains, your goals, and your aspirations. So sit down and hold tight.